Hello, I'm Doug from Tillmore, and here a few weeks ago, my colleague Emily, she uh, talked to you about changing the engine oil of a, of a power ox, and uh, many of you, there were good comments to, to that live video, and um, so we made a little list of requests that people mentioned uh, that we could talk about regarding the maintenance of your equipment. So we're talking about the power ox today, so I'm just going to go over a few things that we'd consider end of season or off season maintenance. Um, in a perfect world, right when you're done with a tool, you clean it off and be ready to go for next time. Um, or, you know, you might be one of those who might park your tool and uh, hopefully don't forget about it for too long. Uh, but this would be a job for off season that that way when it does come time in the spring, you'd be all ready to go. So probably one of the first things would be cleaning off the machine. Um, you could do, with, do it with compressed air or a pressure washer or a garden hose. Um, but some of the things to keep in mind when you do do that, um, for the end of the season, we just, this, these fins here on the engine are part of the cooling system. And so it's important that there's not a lot of dust and debris and mud, whatever there might be on those. So being able to clean those off is a good idea. Um, but at the same time, if you do use a pressure washer or uh, you know compressed air, be careful about it. Uh, there are several points on here that you would not want to, to shoot directly at. Um, one of those, your air filter, you really don't want to damage that. Um, this point right here, that we'll talk about this in a little bit, but this is a breather. So you don't want uh, water to be shot down into that little breather. Um, there's some electrical um, connections here. Those would probably be okay, but just don't shoot directly, stream directly at it. Um, but that, uh, uh, and one other point here on your bearings, you don't want to shoot water directly into the bearing. Uh, so that, those just, the idea is to get the machine clean um, so that not a lot of moisture will collect on mud and other things that can happen. Um, so after the machine is clean, that's a good time also then to lubricate. So if you want to, we could, there are two grease zerks on the power ox and they're small. So if you have a grease gun, which you would need to grease the zerk, just a couple of shots, maybe three. You don't really need to have it squirting out the side. That can also damage seals, but you can do both of those. And then, so something else regarding the zerks. So the bearings on the Power Ox wheels are sealed which means they do not require additional grease. So you do not need to grease bearings on the wheels. However, you'll notice if you have one of the Power Ox with the fat tire, the one with the chevron tread like a tractor, that actually has a grease zerk on the hub. You, it won't do anything, it won't damage anything if you grease it, but you do not need to. So you don't have to grease the tire or the wheels. Um, we'll look also then at the air filter. Uh, the air filter here, you, there's a maintenance schedule in your manual, so make sure you, you read the manual, check out the maintenance schedule, it talks about it. Um, I'm going to talk to you though about the parts of the air cleaner. So you just take off that little plastic top nut. Now this is the cover and then there's another inner nut 
comes off as well. Okay, so to clean this, you want to take it off, um, pull it up carefully so that you avoid getting debris down inside here. That would be a direct channel to the cylinder of the engine. You want to keep dust, anything out of there. Um, but on the air filter, you have a, this foam pre-cleaner, which you can remove. And the manual says every 25 hours, wash that with soap and water. You don't need uh, any sort of a cleaner or solvent or anything, just soap and water. This, it should be clean if your, your little foam pre-cleaner is in good condition. If this starts to look all gunky and dusty, then it would be time to change that but in the manual it doesn't even have a maintenance schedule on that. Just keep that foam pre-cleaner clean. And we'll put that back together. Make sure it seats down. And we put our nut on this fashion. So the manual says every 25 hours, but if you are in really dusty conditions, don't be afraid to do it more frequently because clean air is critical for an internal combustion engine. And we put our top nut back on here. Okay, I'm just going to mention the engine oil. As I said, Emily did a video um, previously about how to change the oil, but this is where this port here, you can check the oil. And as long as the oil is visible, which you can kind of see right there, it might be hard with the video, but with this little dipstick, we just clean off the old oil or anything that might be on there. Just, you don't even have to screw it in. Just set it on there and you see a little shiny on there so we have oil we have enough and sometimes screw in that plastic make sure you take your time screwing in that plastic lid you don't want to get that ruin the threads on that um, other thing I want to talk about is the gearbox oil. Gearbox oil is good for 100 hours. There's no break-in change or anything. So, but what I want to I want to point out a couple of things. This top, this top bolt here. Let me just show you here. This is where you would fill. Um, but this one has. It's basically, it's the same type of bolt as what's down here. This would be where you your oil, check your oil level. But this one has a hole in it, and that is your breather. And so you want to keep that clean. This is a crush washer. It's copper. You want to make sure that that's in place. And you, this is where you would fill that, this gearbox if, if you need it. You want to change if you want to change the oil. And once again, the manual says 100 hours. It's if, as long as you're not seeing a, a leak on a shaft or something like that, you're probably good uh, if you've checked it. So to check the level, we're going to take off this front bolt. And what I'd suggest, because I know check this before we're gonna put the lean the power ox back all right so typically a gearbox as long as it's half full or slightly under half full we're good and so I'm gonna just rock this back forward and 
right there we see we got oil coming out so that's plenty of oil that's level in there is not critical as long as it has enough so if when it's flat as long as you can see oil up to this hole when the machine is flat that's enough okay um, talk a little bit about and this is my list that I made after Emily's video um, we're going to uh, look at chains chains are another part of it that will if you take care of your chains it will improve the longevity of the machine but there are a few things that uh, or a few ways to lubricate the chains um, got some couple of products here it's you can do something as easy as three in one oil which is you know it's more of a dry lubricant this is dry graphite film spray this is good we just want a lubricant that won't attract a lot of dust and, and cake on the chain this here it's a more expensive product but it says paintable lecithin um, which, you know, it's a vegetable base. Um, you don't have to do that, but you can. Uh, but uh, having the, if, if you have cleaned off the chains, make sure that you get them lubricated right away. Um, WD-40, I, I know it gets used quite a bit, but it is not a lubricant. It's, it's more of a water displacement product so WD-40 really won't lubricate. Um, so one of the one of the dry lubricants is is best for that. All right. Um, I'm going to talk about chain alignment just just briefly. That that is one of the things that's um, critical uh, when you initially set up the machine. Um, so that is basically an eyeball from your top sprocket to your lower sprocket. I don't have this cover removed right now, but if you're not having any problem or you don't hear any weird clicking noises, you're probably okay. But that is uh, something that can be adjusted if need be. Um, Tightening chains, the, there is another video as well on how to tighten the chain, the power ox. Uh, so I'd, I'll just refer you to that one. Um, one of the other things I wanted to touch on though was fuel over the winter. Um, gasoline can go stale in a, you know, especially in a little engine like this. So you've got a couple of options. Um, please look at the manual because that does talk about what to do over winter or when you put your power ox in storage. You'll want to um, have a low, well, a small amount of fuel uh, and there's a product called Stable 360 which that can be run through the, the machine to get it, you know, prepped for the winter. It talks about that in in the uh, in the manual. There's also um, a way to drain out the fuel that's in there. If you take out this little nut at the bottom of the carburetor, that'll drain that'll drain fuel out. But those are two ways that are talked about in the manual. Um, how to fix a flat tire? That was an interesting. Uh, Okay. ¿Dónde se puede comprar? Ah, muy bien. Eh, se puede comprar en Tilmore.com. Eh, el Power Ox eh, y todos nuestros productos eh, están en nuestro sitio en el web uh, Tilmore.com o nos puede dar una llamada. Muy bien. Um, so fixing a flat tire there there are probably quite a few videos on youtube about how to repair 
flat tires, I'm just going to mention something that maybe will help. Um, so these are tubeless tires, and one, you know, we're not going at high speeds. So slime, uh, some of you may know what that is. If you Google it, I'm sure you can find it. This green goop slime can be put into uh, this type of a tire that if it was a small, small puncture from like a nail or something, that would, that would take care of that. Um, the only downfall with slime is if you ever do then want to um, remove the tire from, from the rim, it's a little messy. Um, so keep that in mind. Uh, and I think that's probably, um, unless there's other comments that, or if there's other methods that people would uh, uh, like to contribute or other ideas, things that, that I haven't uh, talked about, um, let us know. And uh, we'll try to address those uh, maybe in the future. But I think the last thing is just uh, make sure you don't have any loose bolts, things like that. Go over the machine so that when springtime comes, you're ready to jump on it. Thank you.